are cordially invited to attend High Tea with the Metal Duchess, brought to you proudly by Pure Grain Audio. We'll be sipping on the finest teas with South Africa's finest bands and getting to know them and their music. But just like everything in life, there's always a twist. Seeing as this is high tea, guests will be required to be on their best behavior. The lady's maid has given them a lesson in proper high tea etiquette. And should they break decorum, we will make them pay for their sins. Don't worry, their hard-earned money will go to charity. And while the Duchess is away on said charity events, the lady's maid will take the reins and entertain our guests with a challenge or two in our parlor games. Welcome to High Tea, the Metal Duchess's way. Welcome to the High Tea with the Metal Duchess. I am the Duchess, and today I have Facing the Gallows with me. Do you introduce yourselves to our audience? I'm the Earl of Irving, I play this song. I am the Duke Mangino, I play drums. I'm the Sir Debusel. Uh, I'm the vocalist of Facing the Gallows. Sir Regal. Regal the Eagle. Now, I know you guys are very busy, but I believe you have a flight to catch to. Where is it again? Is it Deutschland? Yeah. Deutschland. Deutschland. Mm. What are you going to do in Deutschland? We're going to go and represent our country, South Africa, at the Viking Battle, which we're really excited about. Yeah, we won a competition here. It's possibly going to open up many doors for us, so we're really excited. So after we do Viking, we've got a tour with Ginger. So we're doing a couple of days with them. They've been really cool and accommodating with us. Um, and yeah, we hope to kick butts. I'm pretty sure that's a round in the jar. That is a round in the jar. A sad is not referred to as buttock. <laughs> How long have you been on the scene for? Facing the Gallows has been around for 12 years now. Lots of stories, lots of ups and downs. And You are the party band. We are the party band, yes. We you, try to be. You try to be the party band. I mean, you just played a show a few hours ago and here you are all suited up, looking very good. Looking fresh. Dapper. Very dapper. Very, very dapper. But I believe one of your members is not here today. Actually, two of your members really could not make it. Well, Lord Chase, um, he's busy on a hunting trip. Yeah, and unfortunately, Ray has been taken ill with Spanish influenza. Terrible, terrible. So. Well, we wish him a speedy recovery. We do, we do. But tell us a bit about Wacken. You're going to go there proudly representing your country. Do you think you're going to bring back the gold? I don't think anyone thinks that we're going to bring back the gold. I think that we can control everything that takes place on the stage and how we manage the crowd. The way that we perform on this side, we definitely pull some energy, so I think we'll do a great deed in uh, trying to trying to get that gold. We just really want to represent our country and just play as hard as we can and just do what we did last night there. If we do that, I think it'll be, it'll be interesting. Are you afraid of what could happen on stage? Something going wrong, no stage dives, no marsh pits. Well, we'll see. Hopefully we can encourage the mosh pits without saying mosh pit. But we've had so many things happen during our shows and one of, like, it's quite a chaotic energy with the crowd. I've had my gear completely wrecked by a crowd that's been moshing and it's spilled onto my side of the stage, pedals flying, cabs being knocked over. And it's in a weird way, it makes me like our show more because it's just, it's just carnage and I like seeing it and it's like you can't remember all of it you just remember these big parts and we've broken the stage before I think <laughs> uh, cranked up yeah we split the stage remember it was maybe that was parting we destroyed ra railings we've had yeah like I said, like crowd, that was it uh, in Cape Town. We're all this marsh pit. At first, it was like the first, second song in. We were playing Avarice, and we hit the breakdown. It, it was literally ten people on my side of the stage. I got launched backwards, and yeah, our gear was broken. And in that five seconds, I just managed to get everything on and just get it going again. So the Lord, it is the Lord, right? He's new to the band. Fairly. I don't really know exactly how to put it in words. I think I got to watch my first face of the Gallows show possibly when I was about 16 years old. 
And uh, yeah, just seeing everything move on from there and idolizing the boys and now eventually being able to stand next to them on a stage and just drive people nuts as we go crazy on stage is just something else. How many members does it have to go down before it stops being facing the gathers? I think I think what was turning was was happening gathers is it's turning into this other thing. It's like a like, like a beast of its own. We still have like a connection with the old members. You know, they're still very much part of this journey, um, and it's like they're also still part of the pelt of the beast. You know, Brian, Nem, Ricky, we still have abundance of love for those guys um, and it's, it's, it's good to share it with them still we have something we have something lined up for them yeah we actually do have something that we're kind of doing i don't know if i should say too much because there's any the need to put surprises well, you, know, the you especially would like this surprise <laughs> okay um school she does like good gossip, <laughs> good gossip and if anything it's a high g gossip <laughs> well, we've, we've done a, 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 a revisited version of virginia um, and it's got acoustic in there and it's got Brian in there, it's got Ricky in there, it's got Nim in there. What? So it's kind of got a lot of things called singing and yeah. It's when is this going to be released? We just got um, the blackening and the small hands, the masterings, like now, this weekend. So we should have it soon. Let's talk about the album that is released though. That was obviously done before Brian, who is the former vocalist of Facing the Gallows, the most recent form of focus, I should say. And that was a huge success. Everybody who had it loved it, and Facing the Gallows promoted every single bit of it wherever, whenever they could. And you're still promoting, you're playing more gigs now than you've ever done in the past 10, 11 years. How do you keep that momentum going? They say we're lucky. I don't like that because we work really hard, tire tirelessly, every day. Um, it's like a second job, but we love doing it. You know, playing those live shows and having those half an hour, hour sets with the crowd, that is just feeding off us and we're feeding off them. It makes it all worth it. Favorite tracks from Lansing? Yeah, for sure. The Monster, Virginia, Tides, Petty. Yeah. You just named all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like a 12 track album. Yes. <laughs> well, one of the Mental Touches is his favorite anyway. <laughs> I love all our songs. And I love the songs previously. Yeah. Chatters is still my favorite album. Yeah. But now we're definitely doing an EP. And that's going to be six songs. Six. Oh, this shit. has this EP started in yeah, we, Rolling? This is, this is the, the songs we're getting now. Yeah, so that's going to be yeah. Black Name, Small Hands. These are the two newest songs. The remix version of. Virginia, when you think about it, a year ago, we didn't have the practice. Yeah. And now we're sitting in and hiding with you, and a week away from going to Black and... Um, Very nice. The nerves have probably kicked in. Not yet. They're gonna kick in. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Declared. laughs> What are you most afraid of while being on tour for two weeks? Just don't want it to end. I guess. Yeah, that's that's our first experience. So I don't think any of us know what it's going to feel like. Especially yeah. being the, especially being the first one, we don't know what to expect. But we're not scared of that, you know. Yeah, literally, we just have food, each other, and uh, instruments. We're cool. Mm -hmm. you know, we just jam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just do our thing. In terms of the South African music scene, where do you fit in, and what do you think of the scene as is at the moment? There's a lot more people attending shows and... I think it's doing better now than what it did about two, three years back. Yeah, I agree. It has its dips. Um, There's also a couple of bands that are coming up with some crazy stuff that are just moving up. I mean, Trials burning themselves. I'm a big fan of the band. I think those guys are going to be do something crazy. Uh, where we stand in the scene? Yeah. Yeah. You, you like building on a, a thing where we, like, we do shows, we don't do it with just metal bands, we do it with rock bands, indie bands, or hip hop bands, because you know, you're just like making friends and trying to grow a community, um, build something that's a lot bigger than our little people scene. You know, like you said, we're a party band, so that can spread into any kind of. Speaking of party band, bands, you had a huge gig at Arm Class. What was the festival for? Why did they play? 
It's Pirate Fest, I believe. We, we found out about Pirate Fest a little bit later on. Uh, we heard about this whole thing that was taking place. We found out that um, Hailstorm was playing. We were like, what is going on with the festival? We had no idea what this was. And eventually we were approached and we were told that they'd like to have us on this whole leg. And then we found out Fuzzy and Devon when then were jamming. And Devon was awesome. That was the first time I saw it. It was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Plus is definitely a favorite stage to play. Uh, there's something about that crowd. It's just got some other energy. So of course we said yes. We had a lot of fun. I counted about seven stage dives, <laughs> the ones that I could see. I'm pretty sure there were more when my back was turned in the mosh pit. Unless you get pretty swamped in the mosh pit. <laughs> <laughs> pretty swamped in the mosh pit. So you need to burn a lifeguard every so often. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, we've got a record to break. What is the record? We, we're still trying to work out, but the minimum is definitely 42. Yeah. The maximum is 49. <laughs> I can still feel trainers getting across my face. <laughs> <laughs> just wow, wow. It's just awesome. It seems like you're the main punch bag for like, the fans. <laughs> okay. I, okay. It's really exciting how I love the energy that the universe throws it back. They just aim for you. Like. Yeah. Yeah. I remember as we started that show, like literally, song one. Song one. Second one we're in. We all start and Ray falls right onto my drum kit and like onto me and I'm like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My stuff's not in order anymore and it was just chaos from there. Yeah. It was excellent. What last words do you have for your fans and audiences that you may meet? Anytime that someone jumps off the stage, starts a pit, screams out words, grabs the mic, you know, whether they're meant to or not. I like it when the crowds grab my mic, you know, all of that. It's, it means grab the mic, just grab the mic. <laughs> um, it means everything to us. Riggs, so what's, what's your reaction to our fans, especially since you're the new dudes? No one should ever be too shy to ever get on the stage and come party with us. Mm. Just come hang out with RTG boys, man. We be RTG. Get up there, get back down, let's party. Yeah. So, a personal side note before I end. I first saw Facing the Gallows 11 years ago in a very small Port Elizabeth venue. And it was such a high energy band, and I remember thinking, I'm going to remember these boys forever. And here we are. You guys really made an impression that night, and I still say good luck for Germany and bring back the gold. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. back to Parlor Games. Unfortunately, the Metal Duchess couldn't make it today as she is dining in Geneva. So, instead, I am now going to entertain the Facing the Gallo boys with a little Parlor game. So, boys, in front of you, you will find you have a cup of scalding hot tea and a little plate of rich tea biscuits. The challenge is, is you have to dunk your biscuit in for seven seconds. And, of course, you know, with the heat and the moisture, it'll get nice and soggy, so the last person to have their biscuit still intact wins. Okay, so you guys ready? Yes. Was it a good biscuit? That was good. Homemade. <laughs> okay. On your marks, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> yeah, hey, check ooh, this, guys. Ooh. Check this, guys. Check this, guys. Check <laughs> No, breathe in. 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 Bring it together. Right. Oh, here, we here we go. Here we go. Oh. Right here, right here. Um. <laughs> Are you retiring it so that? Uh, no, no. It's not a biscuit. It's not a biscuit, bro. Okay, so we'll use that as you can eat it if you want. But you guys get the understanding of it, and I hope you guys at home can understand it as well. So you can try it with your friends. And for your prize. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Lots of good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good game. Your prize is to do the washing up. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and you don't say <laughs> you've got it into your team. It's a bang down. It's a pirate fest. It's a pirate fest. <laughs> How's it? Say the jelly. Bro.